Back in August of 2013, Walker Parking Consultants were hired to do a parking study in the village of Mamaroneck. The purpose of this study was to find out if the current parking inventory meets the present and future demand in the downtown area. The cost of the parking study was $40,000 and was performed by Vice President of Walker Consultants, Carolyn Krasno. On March 2014, Walker preliminary report recommended that the village should purchase new meters to assist with parking enforcement and revenue stream. Following this suggestion, the request for proposal, or the RFP, for new multi-space parking meters was agreed on at the April 7th Board of Trustees Board session. But it was not until July 14th that the RFP was discussed in public. I mean, going back to the dates, this was discussed in the April 7th work session, and it was my understanding at that time that um, this was given um, approval to proceed with issuing the RFP. So... Here we are, July 14th, um, and uh, we still have not. Three months later, at the October 27th meeting, the discussion of installing the machines was put on the agenda again. You may, you may have end up with what you're proposing now, but at least get all the facts so you know what you're doing. What was the point of it, the study? Yeah, so it's my That's what I like to know. I'm still wanting to know what the rest of the study. I never got the, my answer. The board passed a resolution to award a V to Cali America of Tampa, Florida. 18 multi-space parking meters were purchased at a cost of $6,425 each, bringing the total of $115,650. These meters are pay by license meters, but can also be configured as pay by space meters. They take quarters and credit cards, but do not take bills. On December 2nd of 2014, Walker finished the parking study and concluded that the parking situation in downtown Mamaroneck is more an imbalance than a true lack of parking. The report says, people prefer parking on Mamaroneck Avenue for its convenience, but parking is available within a reasonable radius, especially along Felix Park Road behind CVS and in the Hunter Tier Garage across from Village Court. Walker provided 12 recommendations to the village of Mamaronek. Two of them were put into parking resolutions. The first resolution was extending the meter hours until 8 p.m. The second one was making Mamaronek Avenue a non-reparking zone and only allowing residents and visitors to park for two hours. These resolutions made residents and business owners fill the village courtroom on the April 27th Board of Trustees meeting. More than 20 people spoke at the podium and expressed their concerns. Frustrated business owners from Amaronic Avenue said that they were not contacted by the Walker study and their input was not included. The discussion on parking lasted two and a half hours, forcing the vote on the resolution to be tabled. You're limited to not only eating in my restaurant for two hours, but you have to have a chauffeur come bring another car and take your car away so you don't get a ticket because you can't be here for someone. I can understand moving it down or paying extra like the gentleman said. That's, that makes sense, but you're going to chase everybody out of this food town. There's a reason it's a food town. In order to enforce the two-hour parking limit on Mamaronek Avenue, Walker suggested that purchase of license plate readers. If purchased, it would cost $30,000. This device attaches to a parking enforcement car that scans license plates of parked vehicles. It is a village decision whether to configure the multi-space meter to pay by space or pay by play, where residents will have to enter their license plate numbers to pay. The discussion about meter configuration took place on the May 11 board meeting. This time, the play reader proposal drew privacy concerns among residents. I don't want to be watched. I don't think anybody else does either. I don't want somebody to tell me that on such and such a day, I parked here for how many hours? Why should you know that? Parking resolutions were tabled indefinitely. And what came next was the forming of the Ad Hoc Parking Committee on July 1st of this year. We spoke with Maria Micondi Rose, the chair of the committee, to have the final update on the parking situation. We had three subcommittees that we broke up into. Um, one is the technology subcommittee, and they were asked to study the cost of replacing the meters with either single space smart meters or multi space meters. What other were the other subcommittees? The other studying? subcommittee was the license plate reader subcommittee. So that subcommittee was charged with looking at the cost of the scanners, the popularity of the scanners, um, is it really worth it, things like that. And then we have a third subcommittee that was uh, working on a survey, which will be up shortly on the village's website. And we're also going to have hard copies that are going to be distributed to 
merchants on the avenue to ask their patrons to fill out. We, um, you know, try and keep it basically the way it is, simple, user-friendly, and something that'll be attractive to everyone who comes to visit Mamaroneck, that they'll want to come here. The parking issue goes back to 2009. The Village of Mamaroneck Budget Committee were the first to recommend the installation of multi-space meter to solve the lack of turnover of existing parking. So far already, parking has cost the Village of Mamaroneck around $155,650. This amount that includes the cost of parking study and the cost of 18 unused parking meters. And Sheila Navarro with a special local life election report.